Let's be bright. Out and about on the farm. Incredible crops. Oh, is that smoke? No, it's just dust from this enormous combine harvester. On the front of the combine, a large rotating reel pulls the wheat plants head first towards a row of very sharp blades. The blades cut the stalks just above ground level before they are pulled into the combine. Inside the combine, the heads of the wheat are cut off from their stalks. The heads are then thrashed and sieved to remove the chaff, leaving clean grains of wheat. <laughs> it's just like a giant version of Farmer Mark's hands. The clean wheat is fed into a large storage tank on the top of the combine. The chaff and the stalks, called straw, are thrown out of the back of the combine. Later on, this will be used to make straw bales. Inside the cab, Farmer Rich has to make sure that he is cutting the wheat in a nice straight line. There are a lot of controls to help Rich drive this massive machine. When the combine reaches the end of the row, the header is lifted high off the ground so that the combine can turn around safely. Now that the header is off the ground, you can see the blades, which work like really sharp scissors to cut all the wheat stalks. The combine has turned around and the header is lowered back down to start cutting the wheat again. Look how much wheat is in the tank now. It's nearly full. This flashing light tells a nearby tractor and trailer that it's time to come and collect the grain. I wonder what this is for. Here comes the tractor. Once the tractor is alongside the combine, Rich starts to dump all of the grain into the trailer. Wow, look at all that grain. The driver has to be really careful. They don't want to spill any grain or bump into each other. The tank on the combine can hold five tons of wheat, but it only takes a couple of minutes to transfer it onto the trailer. There, that's the lot. Now the tractor is off to the farm to unload the grain. The arm folds back neatly onto the side and the combine carries on gathering the grain. Back on the farm, the tractor and trailer reverse into the grain store. Wow, look how enormous this building is. Oh look, it's Farmer Mark again.
Farmer Mark unlocks the back of the trailer. And look, there's the wheat. The trailer tips up and all of the wheat comes gushing out of the back. Next, Farmer Mark uses the grain scoop on the telehandler to push the wheat into a neat pile. <laughs> it looks a bit like a big pile of sand at the beach. Farmer Mark checks the wheat. It all looks nice and clean and dry. And now it's off to the field to collect some more. Rich is still working in the field. In just one hour, this combine can harvest enough wheat to make over 70,000 loaves of bread. It's a hare, a kind of large rabbit. Quick, run! What a beautiful animal. Not far behind the combine, the straw is being baled. Can you see the straw being pulled up into the baler? There, this straw will be used for animal bedding in the winter. It's dark and the combine is still working. Tomorrow it's going to rain and so the farmers are hurrying to get all the wheat harvested while it's still dry. Another combine has come to help. Two combines should get the job done in time. Farmers will keep working late into the night, making sure that the harvest is safely gathered in. And in the morning, millions of people will have toast and cereal for their breakfast. And it will all be thanks to the wheat grown and harvested by these hard-working farmers. and about on the farm. Incredible crops.